Hello and welcome to Improve Your Voice. My name is Darren McStay and this video is a 10 minute voice warm up with and using balls. So we've got three types of balls. We've got this one, which is uh, a hard gym stick ball. In olden days, you used to use a tennis ball. So you, if you've got one of those, that's good. Um, and we're also gonna use these Petroni balls. And I've got a video on these separate to this. Here's a link there where you can learn more about them. And these are kind of softer and a little bit bigger, and there's two of them. Now, again, in olden days, people used to use two tennis balls, but these are now designed per, you know, specifically for the jobs they do. And the last ball we're gonna use is this one, which is a, you know, a, a common all garden gym ball. So we're gonna use these three things. And I'm gonna start with the Petroni balls. So what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna get on our back and put them underneath here. So just where our glutes are, and we're gonna sort of move from there. So let's get the timer on now, and let's get on our backs. Now I realize you probably don't have these balls to hand right now, but it's something to come back to if and when you do. So watch what I do and try and take it in, and then when you do get the chance to either use tennis balls or find these for yourself, then it could be a good warm up for you. All right, okay. So you're going to take these two and place them just underneath on the kind of outside, under your hips, on the outside of your glutes. And what you're aiming to do is kind of find length in your spine. So shuffle your shoulder blades back. And it's not supposed to lift you up necessarily. It's just supposed to kind of slightly tilt your hips um, sort of up and forward at the, at the back and, and down here. And if you breathe into that, you can then just adjust a little bit more. What you're trying to do is, again, is get your back flat on the floor. You don't really want your back to be flat all the time, but it's a good thing to do just for this exercise, for your breathing. And then you just breathe in to that area and allow it to relax a little bit more on each out breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now if you like you can just shuffle up a little bit more and pull your arms out of the way and you can even take your head because uh, it's quite heavy and just tilt it so your chin comes in a bit more and you're creating some more length in the spine here at the top end. So the idea of this is your whole spine is just getting a bit of a a lengthen and it's suggested it's not necessarily we're not pulling it around we're not pushing it into place we're just with our breath allowing it to fall into those positions that we've guided it into now I know that Linda Petroni does does online classes for using these the proper way because of course it's her design and so maybe you want to check out her website and see what what's on offer because they're very useful tools to use if you know how to use them correctly so the next one we're going to do taking it out of there is keeping a, tin, a chin tucked in and a head on the ground we're going to put this just where our coccyx is just not right up on our back, but just again, just a bit closer to the to the to the bum, I guess, and just kind of try and get the same effect. So we're just just suggesting a bit of length in the bottom of the spine there. Now we're going to take the other one, lifting the weight of your head up with your hand, and place that just under the there. So it, it it's in a position that keeps your chin your chin tucked in and suggests some length in the back. Again, you want to shuffle a little bit and just use your hands and elbows to move you around. And if you need to you know, move, move some space at the sides, do that. And again, just relax into this position and allow the idea of length to come into your spine. I could do this on its own for about 20 minutes, but this is a 10 minute warm up and we're doing three different things. So we're just going to Take a few deep breaths, relax, let go, let everything just fall down. Gravity does most of the work here.
One more deep breath. Okay, so taking the weight of your head with your hand and take the ball out, place that down onto the side, take this one out, and we're gonna roll onto the side here, onto our elbow, using the bone of our elbow to, to lean on as leverage to get up. And from here, we're going to take the bigger ball, the gym ball, and what we're gonna do here is some circular movements, and we're gonna do it in a few different positions. So we're gonna start we're having both hands together and our knees tucked under so we're, we're laying on, on our flat feet, we're not laying, we're sitting. You can have your knees together or open if you like. I prefer to keep mine open because I'm a bit tight there. So from here we're just going to lean down, fall down and allow your head to come and relax. Now we want to keep the idea of our shoulder blades moving into the center of our back and down our back. We don't want them coming forward to our ears. We want to keep them out of the way and create some space. So just relax your head, but be mindful of those shoulder blades don't come too far forward. This might be painful for some people. It's a bit painful for me because I have tightness there in my shoulders. And any way you do feel pain, just try and breathe into it. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to do some small circles with both hands one way, okay? So take a few breaths as you do. You might find that you need to push the ball a bit further away like I just did. Now these circles can get increasingly bigger. Keep breathing. And then find them into smaller circles again. You can even lift your fingers up and back and lean forward. Breathe in and come back. Now we can do the same thing again, but circling in the other way. Start with small circles and then larger circles. As you're making the larger circles, you'll find that one arm needs to bend at a time, or both arms even. Breathe in, come down. Keeping your shoulder blades together and down the back. Small circles to begin with. Nice and gentle movements. This is releasing some tightness in your shoulders, so it might be painful. Okay, and then getting bigger with the circles. Keep your head relaxed. Don't forget to breathe. And then bring the circle smaller again. Hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna take this one out of the way. We've um, found some length in the spine now, in the neck and around the hips. And we've opened up the shoulders a little bit with those movements. Now we're gonna take this hard ball and we're gonna Get onto our feet, again, using one structure at a time. Knees, arm. Get up slowly, because you've just been releasing some tension in your body and deep breathing, so it might make you a little lightheaded. So always get up a bit slowly here. Engage your pelvic floor muscles as you bring yourself up. Curl the spine, don't just stand straight up. Don't put any pressure in your neck when you do that. So, I'm gonna put this on the floor. And we're gonna take our foot and just roll it around on the inside of our foot, on the soft part, in between, somewhere in between the, the heel and the, the, the kind of pads just behind the toes. So you can go to the side, find it, play with it, see what, see what feels comfortable. And again, we're just suggesting a little bit of relaxation, so find any points in there that might be a bit tight or tense, and see if you can put a little bit of weight on there. Breathe all the time, relax your belly, let go. So we're going to just move around that, find any tight spots, breathe into it and put a little bit of pressure, not for too long, and then move it again to the next one. And so what we want to do here as we're, as we're doing this is start to maybe warm up and create some space in our 
uh, larynx and mouth and soft palate. So let's just do some yawning so we can keep our teeth kind of fairly close together. Maybe the distance open of or your if you put your you know, small finger in between your teeth. Keep the, the teeth about that much open, roughly. Just relax the jaw. And then you're gonna do some yawning, bringing the tongue down out of the way for this exercise, but keeping the mouth closed at the front, but opening it at the back. I just yawn. Oh. Oh. And then we can switch over. Oh. Yeah, find those spots. Do that yawning. <sighs> now we, let's have some size now as well. So remember on the on the feet, I've switched over the feet now, is to just find a spot that feels a little bit tense, put a bit of pressure on there, and then not for too long, breathe into it, let it relax, and then just move it around, find another spot. Find spots that have any tension and just give them some attention. Okay, so now we're gonna yawn, take a deep breath and sigh. <sighs> We're keeping our lips and our, our jaw kind of fairly relaxed. Breathe in. And then we can start adding a bit of sound. Maybe like a buzzing sound. And start to move the lips. And then do some lip trills. We can also start making that sigh sound happy rather than making it a a kind of exhausted sigh, we make it a happy sigh. So rather than, oh, we can have, ah. Oh. So it kind of has a sort of a sense of glee about it and it's sort of, it starts to sound a bit more like you're smiling. So, ah, oh. oh. like a satisfied sigh, there we go. And again, we can do some lip trills at the same time. Or we can do some tongue trills as well if we want. That's a little bit more difficult when you're yawning for me. Um, right, so from there we can just shake it out, shake out some of that tension that we just released from using those three different types of balls. That was a 10 minute workout. I do realize that you may or may not have this equipment, these uh, three types of balls. If you can get hold of them, that's great, but you don't need to. I'm gonna make a separate video where we do a similar kind of warm up, um, but designed to um, not need any equipment. So that might be useful for a lot of you. 10 minutes is not a long time, but that's all some of you might have. So if you do have this equipment, great. If not, don't worry, there'll be another video for you shortly. Um, and just, for, just remember, keep your belly relaxed. Breathe, relax, and continue the flow of energy and air as you go through all of these exercises. There's gonna be a whole series of these. I've already got a five minute one up. This is the one with three balls. It's gonna be one without that. And there's gonna be 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes, all the way up to two hours, okay? So I will see you next time. My name's Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice. And until the next time, look after your voice.